from the bottom, ain't no problems, we gon' make a way. Got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gon' be okay. Hey, look why, cause we gon' make them pay. We, from we got Ole Miss taking on Alabama. Ole Miss, 3-0 and against, 3-0 uh, on the year, 2-0-1 against the spread. While Alabama Crimson Tide, they are 4-0 on the year, 2-2 two and two against the spread. Let's keep this in mind. No, there has yet to be an assistant coach beat Nick Saban yet. Uh, Ole Miss 7-1 straight up in the last eight games, 5-2 against the spread in the last seven games against Alabama. They're on 5-5 in the last five games against Alabama, 2-8 and eight straight up in, on the road in the last 10 games, and only 1-12 in the last 13 games. When playing on the road against Alabama. Uh, Bama's 10 and 4 against the spread in the last 14 games, 10 and 0 straight up in the last 10 games. They overseas five out of the last six. They're 20 and 0 straight up in the last 20 games at home, 12 and 1 straight up in the last 13 games when playing at home against Mississippi. Marley, how do you feel about this one? I like Ole Miss plus the 14 and a half. I don't think they'll beat Alabama, especially Alabama at the career, but this offense can score. They've been scoring since Lane Kiffin got there. They're going to put up points. Um, I just think. Alabama's going to outdo them because their defense at least get a, enough stops. Um, I don't want to be long-winded. Uh, I like the quarterback, Corral. He can't move, but he can throw. Um, and Lane Kiffin going to spray their ass out. And he gonna That's how you got to play him. You got to spray them out. You can beat Alabama, exactly. So the only way you can beat Alabama, uh, you need a dual. I think you need a dual threat to actually beat them. But if you got a quarterback that can spread them out, get rid of the ball quick to the athletes and let them run around, you can definitely keep it close. Um, I think 14 and a half too much. I think we get kind of what we get in from the Florida game, but yeah. instead of a lot more running, you'll get more passing. Uh, the Florida quarterback missed a lot of passes that Carol uh, Correll won't miss. So um, I like 14 and a half. I still think Alabama wins. I just think they cover the 14 and a half. All right. All right. How you feel about this one? Uh, on flat top. I, I like both of these offenses. I think it's going to be a lot like that Florida game, except um, Ole Miss is going to obviously pass a little bit more. Uh, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game for me. 79 and a half is just so high. It's so high. And I think these both can score. And I'm probably going to regret this because I really don't like taking unders in a, in a college game. But 79 and a half is massive. I, I got to take under 79 and a half. Um, I think this is two really, really good offenses. But I also think that this uh, Ole Miss defense is, you know, they're they're decent. So I think, yeah, Alabama could put up 40, but it might be like 40 to 30. And it hits 70, 72. 79 is just too high for me. So I got to take under 79 I thought about and a half. It. I thought about it. But yeah, college. it's so high. I hate taking unders. But 80 is so high in, like, a, an SEC game. Like, the ones that do – I mean, there are a ton of shootouts, but I don't think – yeah. Uh, so, flat side likes – flat side likes Bama for the under 79 and a half. Um, as for myself, I like Bama first half. I think they're going to come out. You know, games like – you know, there's some heat. There's some heat between Saban and uh, – and, uh, um, and uh, Kiffin, so I, I expect him to not call the hounds off once it gets ugly. But if there's any team in the conference besides Georgia that can give them a game, Georgia and Florida, it's definitely Ole Miss because the way you got to play against Alabama, especially that front seven, you got to spread them out. You got to spread them out. You got to run plays for a very over aggressive defense, hit them with some screens, quick tunnels, have a have a mobile quarterback. Corral has actually showed this year that he's able. To run the ball, I do. This is going to be exciting game. This is, in fact, the game I've been waiting to see Alabama play against. But give me Alabama first half. Um, it should be, what, seven and a half, eight? Seven and a half, eight, yeah. Either way it goes, I like I like them for the first half to come out motivated um, in, the, in the home stadium. But I like second half for Ole Miss to kind of make some adjustments at halftime and try to make some shit happen. So I like Bama first half spread. Make a way, got no coach on the field, but we making plays. Hey, look, don't worry, we gonna be okay. Hey, 
Look why. Cause we gon' make them pay. We from